So there's two ways in which we can join these objects. So the first would be just to shift select as many objects as you wanted to join into a single object and press J. Or if we press T to bring up our tool shelf here, we can just press the join button in our menu over there. What happened when we did that when we joined them? If we go down to the outliner now, we see that there's only this one object called cube. And the reason why this new object took on the name of cube is that cube was the last selected object otherwise in Blender known as the active object. And so we can also tell what the active object is in our outliner here because it will always be the one that is highlighted. So when we select things, so say I were to double right click over here and add another cone object here, we can shift select multiple things and you'll see that their icon will be highlighted. But when an object is the active object, that is the last object we selected, the text will also be highlighted. So just want you to understand that. So I'm gonna click on that cone and tap X to delete it. Okay, so we joined all these objects together, but now the name cube really isn't that useful because this isn't really just a cube. So you might wanna double click on that and rename it so we could call this weird shape thing. So the object's positions haven't moved anywhere and they're not connected by any means. So what does it really mean that these are joined now? Well, if we press tab to go into edit mode, first of all, we can edit any piece of mesh on these objects. So this, these are all editable now within inside of this object. Notice too that there's only one origin point because it is now a singular object. So separating these objects is just as easy. We can either press Alt J to separate them, or we could have simply pressed the separate button. And you see when we do that, we get four objects now. And of course they all took on the name of the previous object they were. So if you were you know, making anything very complex, you might wanna rename these items. Even when these objects were joined, they weren't actually touching each other. That's actually the criteria by which things are separated. So basically, if a piece of mesh within an object is a loose object, that is, it's not connected. So for instance, if I were to shift select all of these again and press join, and then press tab to go into the edit mode and say, select one of these faces here on this torus piece of mesh, and then shift select one of these faces on the sphere and tap F, this will bridge those. So now if I press tab to go back into object mode, we still have this one singular object here of all these pieces we joined. But this time if we press separate, notice how this is one object and these two are separate. So now we only get three objects. If you're in object mode and press separate or Alt J, that's the criteria by which they are separated. If we press tab to go into edit mode, so I could hold Alt to do a loop select while in face selection here. And I could hold Alt and Shift to add more loops to that selection. So say I actually wanted to separate this from this object. All I would do is go into edit mode, select what I wanted to be separated, and then press separate. And now this is a separate object. 